Hello, welcome to Swinburne University of Technology in Sarawak campus. If you're a new student and you have no idea what's going on around here, then this video is dedicated for you. If you want to survive in Swinburne, Sarawak, then you have to follow these seven steps. Here we have a student who is trying to be friendly and approach others. Well, that was awkward. Um, nope. Try again. Okay, for God's sake, that's so creepy, just stop! Okay, now that's too much. I'm out of here. If you're feeling unsafe, all you have to do is complaining to Safer Community at the Student HQ, Block A, and they will be more than happy to handle the issue. Damn, I think I'm late. Make sure you arrive to Swinburne at least 45 minutes before your class, in order to find the parking Ooh. space and avoid random people holding signs that says your limits. Here we can witness a new student and a kangaroo for some reasons who are not aware that they are in a big trouble. Yep, smoking is prohibited on campus. An individual caught smoking on campus must pay a 10,000 ringgit fine. He's smoking! Or will be in prison for two years. Same regulations apply for kangaroos. All international students must hold a valid student visa. Otherwise, they will be subjected to further investigation by Sarawak State Immigration Department. So make sure your visa is up to date. Additionally, make sure you submit your passport to International Office at Student HQ at least one month before your current visa expiration date in order to avoid overstaying. What do we have here? Just a kangaroo who is studying and two students who are wasting their time Facebooking and YouTubing. And they are not aware that the assignment due date is tomorrow. To make the situation worse, Mark is inviting them for a party. Mark is always late, Mark is always partying. Don't be like Mark. You should socialize with people and get involved in social activities, but make sure you have completed all your tasks before partying. Well, that's what you get. SLVP? Did you say SLVP? <laughs> SLVP stands for Student Leadership and Volunteering Program. If you're interested, all you have to do is just send your name, your ID, your phone number to volunteering at swinburne.edu.my. For this matter, we invite Mr. Jordan from Student Engagement Center. We have an interview with him and he will explain to us what is SLVP. Let's go! Hello everyone. So if you're wondering what Student Leadership and volunteering program offers, or in short, SLVP, is a great opportunity and platform for you to unleash your true potential. 
So through SLVP, you are able to be rewarded and reap the benefits of volunteering, polish your leadership skills, and meet new people. It is a platform for you to be connected with the student society. So how do you do that? There's a description here, or there's a link here that you can refer to about SLVP. So we'll have testimonies from the SLVP members on what they've achieved and what they are able to do and reach their true potential. All right, and looking forward to you joining us at SLVP. Bye. Seriously though, you can take our advice. On behalf of SLVP, we wish you a happy stay in this country. Okay. <laughs> ah, can we just do it? Are you just saying something? Yeah. Basically, you get to look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Okay, self-repeat. It's not for myself, repeat.